Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi and wanted to share with you the September Lust Habit Box. I have only just gotten back today from Sydney IMATS where I was yesterday. So excuse me if I'm looking a little bit tired. I have been traveling. So I've just opened the box here. I have not seen the contents and I see that we are back to the beautiful satiny makeup bags. I'm so happy to see that. This month it's silver, which is really lovely. I really love these bags. They're just so handy, really nice size. You can put brushes in them for travel. You can pop it in your handbag as your makeup bag. You can use it for a million and one different things. So I am really happy to see that. Now let's see what's in here. Since Lust Habit has taken over Glossy Box, it seems like there has been quite a bit of variation between what people have received across the country. So when I post a video showing my Lust Habit box, I get a lot of comments from people saying that they didn't get this, they got this instead, um, just a lot of variation. Now I'm not sure if that is because when Glossy Box was bought out by Lust Habit that they just got such an enormous addition of subscribers that maybe they didn't have the supplies. I imagine that you probably plan out boxes a few months in advance. Maybe that's just a transitionary thing. I'm not sure if that is something that Lust Habit is moving towards or not, but do be aware that you may not, if you do subscribe to Lust Habit, you may not get the exact same items as your friend or myself or anyone else who's subscribed to Lust Habit. So the first thing I see here in this bag is from Miranesque. Miranesque is a regular contributor to these monthly subscription boxes here on the Australian market. I'm pretty impressed with the Miranesque eyeshadows that I've seen. Maybe not so much the eyeliner, but the glosses are really quite nice. That's all I've seen. Inside the bag here is a concealer. So this is called the Icon Sealer 24 Hour Concealer. And let's see what color it is. That's gonna be important. Oh, wow. I'm quite happy to see that. It's quite a light yellow. That's going to be fantastic for brightening the under eyes. Really excited to see that. And the fact that it's called an Icon Sealer 24 hour suggests that it might actually last a while under my eyes. That's my biggest problem with concealer is how to get that coverage to last all day. It does seem to blend quite nicely and brighten. So you can see as I've blended it on my hand, um, you know, it's obviously not quite as opaque and would be fine under my eyes. I'd probably put a concealer on top of it. And it also has a little thing in here with a code to go to Miraness Cosmetics on Facebook and claim an instant gift. $29.95 value, the Cat Eyes Liner. Happy about that concealer. Really like to see makeup products in these boxes. But the next item I'm pulling out is a gentle facial foam cleanser. This is from Alm, if that's how I pronounce it, Anti-Age Organics. This cleanser is gentle, it contains a marine complex, also papaya and pomegranate, suitable for all skin types and certified EgoCert Organic Cosmetic. The sample size here is in 20 mils. I do have my regular facial cleanser that I use in the shower every day and then to wash off my makeup every evening, but I'm always looking for any kind of tubes this size for travel, which I do quite a bit. Really happy to have that for the next time I travel. Next thing I pull out here is from a brand called Morrissey and I'm not familiar with the brand of Morrissey to do with skincare or cosmetics. This is a body balm with Australian essential oils of blood orange and dessert lime extracts. It's not a really really strong scent it's quite a natural scent but that'll be nice on the body that's okay. Next item I see in here is a perfume from Yves Saint Laurent. It's an eau de toilette. Vapors de Parfum is how I'm going to butcher that name. Now the card here says that it, this is the pre-release of this fragrance, not available in store until October. That's quite nice. It's very fresh, light floral maybe with a bit of citrus in there. I'd imagine that would be probably quite a popular scent. Then also something here from Davro. We have seen this a couple of times. I've got an argan oil and a hair detangler from previous boxes. This is Davro Hair Wellness Color Senses ends repair. It's petrochemical and paraben free. It says it's infused with hibiscus and sunflower seed extracts extending the life of your color and it says it's got a unique dual action. It's a leave-in treatment formulated to repair and seal split ends. It has a wild hibiscus fragrance. So primary ingredient is water followed by a bunch of silicones, then glycerin, panthenol. So there you go. I would definitely look forward to giving that a try and that seems to be it. 
bit, apart from some cards here in the side. It looks like we have a special offer here from Devro. Claim a free Devro styling product of your choice, I guess from their website, maybe with a purchase. A little information card there from the Yves Saint Laurent. It says, be the first to experience the latest opium fragrance. Book at your closest counter for a complimentary makeover. They're available from October at Maya, David Jones and Mecca Maxima stores. And then lastly, a card from Alm Anti-Age Organics, the guys that make the cleanser from this month's box, at least in mine. $10 off. Let's see, you can use that at Maya. $10 off when you purchase any two or more Alm products. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So let's see, this month's box. I feel like this is okay. Body balms. I just not I wouldn't get terribly excited probably over pretty much any body balm really um, I'm really happy about that concealer always definitely happy to give a concealer a try the opium perfumes perfume samples I can take or leave they are handy to have in your handbag or to travel with cleanser is handy to travel with the um, ends repair the hair that's okay I would say that this box for me is probably okay not the best that lust have it has provided it's not the worst beauty subscription box that I've ever received the concealer would be my favorite product I would say that this one is probably an average box I hope that you enjoyed let me know what you got in your box what you thought of this month's box from lust have it thanks for watching have a beautiful day and we'll see you all again really soon bye